Hi, this is Bailey with Antiquaria, and I want to let you in on a little secret. You can actually do calligraphy with a pencil. Keep watching, I'm going to show you how. I love using a pencil to practice with, one, because it is so accessible and you can do it anywhere, and two, because it actually mimics the pressure and release of a traditional dip pen. No other material is quite as accessible as this to help you practice from anywhere. The other really awesome thing about learning pencil calligraphy is that you can practice in a notebook and on any piece of paper, on any scrap of paper. It really is so, so versatile. So let's jump into it. Okay, so let's talk about my favorite pencils. Now, any pencil will work, but I love black wing pencils. And specifically, um, the this one, was a limited edition, but there are other ones that are soft as well. So basically the softer the graphite, the more dimension you're gonna get with your pencil calligraphy. So that's what I'll be using. This one's a more balanced, that would work too. Honestly, you can use any pencil that you want. Um, and let me show you real quick how to get it ready to go. So basically, You'll sharpen your pencil to a point. This is my favorite type of sharpener because it's a two process. So it sharpens the wood and then it sharpens the lead. Okay, so we have a really fine point here. Well, actually that's not what we want for practicing our calligraphy. So once we have the fine point, we're just gonna kind of um, very lightly grind the point down to be a rounded shape. So if you imagine instead of a, instead of a point like this, we want it to be more like that. So it doesn't take a whole lot, but just basically some circles working around and we should be good. Um, after you're done with that, you're ready to write. And honestly, you could even just write from that, but that's the most ideal way to prep your pencil. So then, um, you will want to get some paper and that also could be any paper, but I like, this is our calligraphy pad where the graph lines are already at your 55 degree practice angle. Um, you could also use a regular graph paper. You could use um, blank paper, honestly, anything that you wanna practice on. Because it's a pencil, it really doesn't matter. And it also depends on what you wanna practice. But um, I will be using our classic calligraphy exemplar and following that to show you how to do calligraphy with your pencil. You can also use any exemplar or follow any style of lettering that you want. So in case you're not familiar with calligraphy and a calligraphy exemplar, this is sort of the template that um, is used to map out your strokes. So because a calligraphy pen is based on pressure and release, you can only go certain directions to make these swelled shapes. So essentially, you're going to follow the, the arrows like so, and that is how each letter is gonna be formed. So like a B would come right here, go up and around and down and around. Come up and around, up. So you're stopping here, even with a pencil, you're stopping here, skipping up, making this shape now, following that arrow, stopping, coming here, coming down and around. I'll show you more in detail 
when I get um, pencil to paper. Okay, so this is the traditional calligraphy pen and ink that you would use. And let me show you just really quickly what we're trying to practice like and illustrate. So essentially with your, your calligraphy pen, you're using pressure and release to create your letter forms. So when you're coming up, no pressure, when you're coming around pressure to create the swell and when you're coming down pressure tapering off into no pressure well we can actually imitate that exact same thing using pressure and release with our pencil so we'll go like this we'll go no pressure up pressure when we come down see how that gets darker and around, and then this one would be down pressure, lightening up, no pressure up. So that would be making an A. And I am following my exemplar that I've chosen to practice with. And the nice thing about pencil is that Obviously, there's absolutely no mess involved. You could take it on the go with you. You could do it in a journal. There's a lot that you can do with this. Okay, so now we're just gonna go through and practice our exemplar with the pencil. So light, pressure, see how that is so much darker, that's exactly what we want. Light. It is so satisfying to do this, just sit down and be able to practice. And you can see how when I've been doing this, I am actually practicing calligraphy. And what's the difference is that, like when I made this L for example, is that I'm coming up lightly, I'm stopping like you would if you were writing with a dip pen. I'm skipping over, I'm looping back up, no pressure, coming back down over that and coming back up. So I am drawing my letters. I'm not writing like you would in cursive like this. I am doing calligraphy where I'm breaking that up. This would be penmanship. This would be, you know, a structured calligraphy script. Okay. When you're practicing your letters in pencil, pay special mind to both replicating the exact shape of each letter, as well as the shades and the hairlines. Focus on the construction of each letter form, taking the correct strokes one by one to form your alphabet. Make sure to write slow and to breathe. Practicing calligraphy is a form of focus and meditation. One thing I really love using pencil calligraphy for is practicing my words and my flourishes. And what I've found and is very true is that if you can't execute the word um, or your flourishes in pencil, you will never be able to, I mean, I guess with the exception of dumb luck, um, you will never be able to execute them with your dip pen and ink. So utilizing this in your practice really makes a difference for, um, for when you do go to use pen and ink and 
you'll find that your um, letter forms and consistency will be way better. Um, let's see. And like, you know, this kind of thing happens in pencil. And so you go, okay, let's edit that. Um, so I see in here that the Z tail needs to actually be smaller right here. And then my G can come down and clip it a little bit less and then can come around and flourish out. And then let's finish the A. So yeah, I find this to be not only a wonderful practice tool um, on the go and you know all of the things that we've previously mentioned, but specifically for you know learning and practicing and planning your letters or say you had an envelope you wanted to address and you wanted the names to be super flourished or something, well, you could actually plan them out in pencil first and then um, and then you would have your template for moving on to an envelope okay so like for example um i don't know if i love how this ends so because i'm working in pencil and planning this out i can erase that section and maybe i want that to end like about there and then we're gonna write beautiful. So let's do this E, which is like a favorite of mine. Um, it just really helps you slow down and sort of plan where you're gonna place things to make your word balanced. So beautiful. I think I'm going to actually do a flourish on my L. So I'll do that. Let's do the T cross. And then I want this to loop back and maybe I want it to parallel that. And then I want this to come up and around. And then I kind of look and I see like, okay, do I like that? And then if I do, I just can move on to my pen and ink and, you know, execute the same thing. Um. Using a pencil as my planning tool is essential to my calligraphy practice. I use this technique for all sorts of planning, from simple names to full pieces. This technique is perfect for beginners because it's so accessible, but it is also an important practice to maintain for experienced calligraphers as well. Whether you practice this technique in a journal or jotted on a notepad during a Zoom call or just, you know, for your grocery list, I hope that you're able to incorporate this into your daily practice. It really will improve your letter forms when you're able to do this every single day and make a habit of using these pressure and release techniques in your pencil writing. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below and we'd be happy to answer them. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. We create calligraphy and stationary related videos almost every week. We'll see you next time. We would love for you to join us here each week, so don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can find out as soon as our next video drops. Find us over on Instagram at Antiquary Design, and if you found this video helpful, hit the like button or comment and let us know. Thanks again!